Hello again. Today we're going to tie this Kite Imperial. Uh, this is, I believe it's another pattern uh, that Frank Sawyer came up with. I first learned about this fly um, through watching one of Davey McPhail's fly tying videos. Um, and to be honest with you, um, that's where I really learned to tie flies is through watching Davey's uh, Davies films um, on YouTube. He's a brilliant um, fly tie. He's probably one of the best fly ties in the world in fact. Uh, he's based up in Scotland. I've never met the man um, but I love watching his videos and not only has he inspired me to tie flies but he's also inspired me to make my own fly tying videos although I don't think they're going to be a patch on his personally but that's because he is just so good at tying. Um, anyway, we're going to pop this one out the vise. This one has caught a few fish, why it's, why it's looking a bit bedraggled and stuff. Um, and this is the last one I have in my box, so I think it's time to tie some more. I'm just going to pop a hook in the vise. This is a size 14, sort of a medium wire, standard you know, an, an all-purpose hook in a medium wire. Thread, uni thread 80 in purple. Now, I'm just going to run a bit of wax through the thread. And we're going to start the thread just behind the eye. And we're going to run that down in touching turns, nice and neatly, till I get maybe just before the point. And have a... A Mets half cape here, a lovely ginger colour, and that's going to be our tail as well as our hackle. So I'm going to pull some stems, I mean I'm going to pull some fibres, whoops, I'm going to drop the feather. I'm going to pull some fibres 90 degrees from the stem, which will line up the tips. Um, maybe half a dozen fibres, maybe eight. Um, I always put too many fibres in my tails because they do get broken and, you know, if you've put two or three more fibres than you actually need, then at least you know you've always got a bit of tail left if it gets absolutely annihilated. Tail length, I like just over a hook shank length. And we're going to catch that on, on the top. Nice and neatly, I'm going to come down until I'm level with the barb of the hook. And I'm going to lift the tail. I'm going to throw my thread underneath. I'm going to pull towards the eye of the hook, which is going to lift and open out the fibres and a turn on top to hold it. Just going to make sure I've got wax on my thread. And now I'm going to tie in full body length a copper wire. And this is a small size copper wire. And we're just going to run the thread up nice and neatly. And now on the way back down, this is a grey turkey feather. I'm going to take, oh, I don't know, that much. Let me show you the good side. About that much of the feather. And or maybe a slightly, slightly less, slightly less. Maybe, again, maybe half a dozen fibres. Pull them 90 degrees from the ten, stem, tear them off. I'm just going to take my thread down halfway. Whoops, I'm going to catch these fibres on the top. I'm going to pull them in. I'm going to run it down on the thread back up. That will tie those in. Don't worry about those scruffy bits. Now I'm going to wind this fibre uh, towards myself and I'm going to come up maybe six turns, something like that. And I'm going to catch feather off. So do a turn over the fibre and a turn on the hook. Turn over the fibre, turn on the hook. And I do that three times. Now I'm going to take my copper wire up, one, two, maybe three turns. I'm going to pull the turkey back. I'm going to do a turn over, catching the turkey, carry on with my rib till I meet the thread, 90 degree bend into the wire and just tie that, whoops a daisy, just tie that off. Make sure you've got some wax on your thread here. One more turn in there. And then bend, twizzle the wire off. Now I'm just going to have a little tidy up. 
I'm going to come back over with the thorax cover, which is why we did that bit. I'm going to catch it over. Keep it on top. Just have a look. That's nice. A couple of turns to hold it. And then just come in with your scissors. And cut that free. Now, I'm just going to tidy up those ends a little bit because we're going to wind the hackle on now. So, make sure you've got plenty of wax. <clears throat> I've taken a feather off the same cape as I did the tail. And I've stripped a few fibres from the bottom. Now with the good side of the feather, you see this feather curves, and you've got a darker side and a lighter side. The darker side is always the outside of the bird. So that's what we call the good side of the feather. With the good side of the feather facing away from you, or in your case, watching this, the good side of the feather facing towards you, I'm going to just catch that in. Oop. Just catch that in. Nice and tight. Bring the thread back. Again. Wax the thread. Just going to come back to there. And now we're going to run this up. Maybe one, two, three, four, maybe six turns. I don't know. Five. To whatever looks good. Six. Just have a look. I'm happy with that. Come up. Oh, Daisy. <laughs> Whoops, a Daisy. I let go of the feather. No, it wouldn't be me if I didn't do something like that. So come around. I'm just going to sort this feather out. It's a bit, a bit twisted. So come around again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoops. Come on. Just fighting me a little bit. Come up, catch the feather in, a couple of turns. Now I'm going to sweep everything back with my fingers as best I can. Come up with the thread. There's a fibre there that just misbehaved. I'm going to put a bit, ignoring that um, hackle feather, put wax on the thread. Come in with your whip finish tool, nice and gently, nice and neatly. Holding everything back, just come in one, two, three, four is plenty. Click that off, break or cut the um, thread away. Just going to break that away. I've got a little fibre here, don't like. And then just have a look. I mean, I've, I've found these do fish better when they have caught a couple of fish, when they are a little bit more scruffy. So don't be too, try not to be too. You know, don't worry if it's not an Instagram fly or front cover of a magazine fly. Like I said, these have always fished better for me when I've caught a few fish on them. Um, and that's it. That is the Kites Imperial. Um, like I said, brilliant fly for the chalk stream. Chalk stream sorry, I've caught countless fish on this. Um, so thank you, Davey. Thank you for teaching me to tie this. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm saying it like he's going to watch my. <laughs> saying it like he's going to watch. Sorry, one of my videos. Can you imagine? Anyway, thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help. Um, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.